part two. If you take the course with me, you'll also receive what we call the magic bean experiment. The magic bean experiment is an excellent uh, way for you to discover the power of your thoughts. Imagine Jack and the Beanstalk and growing a huge uh, beanstalk that will take him up to find the, uh, what is it, the, the hen that lays the golden egg. So the magic bean experiment is a fantastic way for you to discover the power of your own thoughts and the power of your own mind. So that's another fun thing that you get to do. How does a live Zoom class work? So the live Zoom class is set up on Zoom, obviously. And in the Zoom class, we basically create a structure around about an hour and a half sessions. So each hour and a half session starts with introduction, sharing, and the presentation that we're going to be going through in the techniques. And then at the end of that session, we have some questions and then we do the meditation. We finish each Zoom session, each one and a half hour session with the meditation. And then you get a break to stretch, uh, get a coffee, uh, answer the door and so forth. When we're on Zoom, we highly recommend that you really focus on uh, maximizing your attention to the program. Um, I know it can be sometimes disturbing, especially if you're living with others, that you know people are coming, the phone is ringing, the, uh, the door, somebody's knocking at the door, or the dog is barking, or the cat is uh, moving around. But we recommend that you take the most that you can and focus primarily on yourself during this time. So on the Zoom session as well, what we recommend is that you create and find for yourself a location in the house or the apartment where you can be alone for the course of the full day. We also recommend that you log in 10 to 15 minutes early uh, just to make sure you have everything set up so that your phone is working properly or your iPad or your computer. Ideally, you want to find a computer or uh, an iPad in a stationary position because it will, make much, it will make it much easier for you to really focus on the activities. Uh, also, there will be a presentation with some slides. Therefore, a full screen or a larger screen, at least an iPad size, would be beneficial for you to benefit, uh, to benefit the most from the information that, you'll be, that will be communicated. Often a question comes up, will the Silva method help me with stress and anxiety? And the answer to that in short is absolutely. The Silva method will benefit you in many ways in stress and anxiety. The first way is meditation. So meditation is the first step to reducing that stress and anxiety. When you meditate regularly, as shown by Dr. Herbert Benson, who was the head of the Mind Body Institute at Harvard University, he showed over 40 years of experiments and research showed that regular meditation will decrease stress. He also stated that over 95% of illness is stress-induced. Therefore, by decreasing your stress, you're also decreasing 95% of possible illness. So, the most important thing, the first thing to start doing, even if you don't take the course, is meditate! All right? So please, meditate. Find a way to relax. Find a way to get out of that anxious, stressful state of mind or state of being that you're in. So that's the first way it will help you to reduce stress. The second way it will help you to reduce stress is that through the, through the use of the techniques, you'll start to create a habit of calmness, a habit of trusting your intuition, a habit of being in the flow. When you're in the flow, that means you're connected to how things are working, to the energy around you, there's a lot less resistance in you against things that are taking place. Therefore, you're gonna be more flexible, and you'll be able to more easily handle situations that come up in your life. So I want you to find the time to truly start that meditation and then to start to integrate uh, different modalities into your life, such as the Silva method and those techniques that, you've, that you will learn because that will help you to stay in the flow. And finally, when you're, using your, when you're meditating regularly, you're using your intuition then life becomes easier. You're able to more easily focus on what's truly important to you. In fact, you become clear about what's truly important to you. You know, most people don't even know what's important to them. 
I didn't know what was important to me. In fact, it took me 20 years just to figure out how important my family was and that I really should be paying more attention and supporting them much differently than what I was doing before. So when I discovered that and I started to work on it, I found that my relationships started to improve. The good relationships, the important relationships were developing, became stronger and stronger, and the, and the relationships that were not really benefiting me started to fall apart or started to disappear. So I became more connected to the people around me because I made the practice of meditation, the practice of the techniques, a part of my daily life. And then I integrated them into the relationships around me. So this is how the Silva method will decrease your stress and anxiety. And throughout this process, you'll also, because you've decreased your stress, you've decreased your anxiety, the probability of illness is going to decrease dramatically. A great question is, how long until I see results? People want results now. Well, the now results are the things that make life really hard. Why? Because if you always want something now, then you're not willing to put the effort in. So I want you to stop, stop, relax, and think a little bit about what's truly really important to you and how much you're willing to invest in creating the benefits for you in, your long, in the long term. Sometimes we have really difficult situations, whether they're financial situations or personal situations that we wanna deal with and we want a solution right away. But when we're doing it with a force, with a push, that doesn't work. So I what I want you to do is take a step back, relax. The results will come in time. Sometimes they come over the weekend, Sometimes they come over a course of a week or two. Sometimes they come over months and years. Depending on how big, this, how big the goal is, the results will come based on those. Can kids take the Silva method? Of course! Now, the way that we teach the course, the way that I teach the course is primarily to, to adults. Adults need more intellectual stimulation, need more to understand it logically, as well as psychically, as well as from the creative, from the intuitional side. But children don't need this side. All they need is to be given the, given the tools and boom, they can rock and roll right away. So children usually take 50% or less time to take the course. There are instructors who teach it to children, but there aren't enough of them. So if you are someone who has taken the course or wants to take the course, please sign up, take the course and become an instructor to help children. If you're an adult who takes the course and you have children, then teach the techniques to your kids. Have some fun, play with them. Make it enjoyable for them and they will benefit greatly with it. So the children can take the Silva method. I recommend they take the children's version. If that's not available, they can come into the class and they can just be whoever they are, just relax. And also to teach them at home, a technique at a time, a meditation at a time, no rush. Just give them the space to play with it and have fun. If you would like to watch more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel below. Once again, my name is Steven Dobos, and you can download a free centering exercise. The information is in the description box below.